This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, in spite of reaching an all-time a new high on Tuesday, markets fell on Friday and recorded its second straight weekly loss on inflation concerns. Inflation is turning out to be like that annoying, unwanted house guest that doesn't realize that they've long overstayed their welcome. Rising energy prices helped to fuel a higher-than-expected inflation reading for February. The core CPI rose four-tenths of one percent on the month and was up 3.8% on the year. Both were one-tenth of a percentage point higher than forecast. The PPI, the Producer Price Index, which measures the average change in prices and producers and manufacturers pay to suppliers, rose at its fastest pace in months. Investors' biggest concern at the moment is the possibility that inflation slowdown might have stalled. It's too soon to say, according to analysts, but that would mean that the Fed keeps interest rates at a 23-year high for longer than expected. Fed officials convene next week to set monetary policy, and they're widely expected to hold rates steady for the fifth consecutive meeting. So here's my question. Why does it matter? And why are investors so focused on the Fed and the timing of their next rate move? In spite of the Fed and higher short-term rates, the U.S. economy has kept growing. GDP even accelerated last year. The stock market hit yet another new high this week. So if you accept that stocks and the economy have done quite well, quite fine with high rates, then why are the pundits arguing rate cuts are necessary for continued growth and robust stock returns? Because this is what the media does. They create noise, noise that distracts you from focusing on what really matters your long-term investment objectives. So my advice is simple. Ignore the noise and stay on course towards your North Star, your goals, your dreams, with your values.